Hey guys, so Giorgio Armani was kind enough to send over a handful of their Rouge d'Armani Matte Intense Matte and Comfort Lip Colors. This is what the box looks like. This is what the beautiful packaging looks like. So if you guys would like to see arm and lip swatches of a handful of products from this collection, then just keep watching. First of all, I have to say that this packaging is beautiful. It's very heavy and weighted. You can tell that this is expensive. Has the magnetic closure that I love so much that a lot of the higher end brand lipsticks do. It has a Giorgio Armani logo on it. It's just really, really beautiful, classy packaging. I would definitely keep this out on display, which I may end up putting it back here with some of my prettier makeup packaging products. Um, but these are beautiful. So I figured I have six in front of me that I'm going to try on for you. So let's jump right in. I already have most of them uncapped. So the first one, they look like this. They're the matte bullet lipstick and they have the Giorgio Armani logo on the bullet itself, which I think is beautiful. But of course, I don't put them all the way up because I don't want to ruin the lipstick bullet. So the first one I have is, oh, the number, the colors aren't on the bottom. Hold, please. Okay, so this is the first one. It is number 102, and I don't see the color names on the bottom, just the number. So 102 from the box is Androgyno. So don't mind this. This is what I used on my brow today, and it stained my skin, so don't mind that. But here is... Here is Androgyno number 102. That's a beautiful color. Here's 102 Androgyno. Next up is this one right here. This is number 500 and it says it is Fatal, F-A-T-A-L-E or Fatal. Fatal, I believe. Okay, this one's a bit warmer tone than the first one. That's what the difference is in case you can't see it on camera. So here is 500. I like the first one better. I don't love these like warmer tone pinks on me personally but perhaps with the new hair color, I can pull off different things and I just don't know it yet. Next up, we have like another cooler nudie tone one. This looks like it might be a violet. I'm not exactly sure. This one's 501. The color shade is Milano. We'll give this one a try. That one looks like a dusty plum rose shade. Here's 501 Milano. I don't know, do you guys like this one? I feel like I can pull it off, but I just don't know when I would wear this shade. These don't have any strange chemical or fragrance to them. Yep, nothing. So these are not, these don't have added fragrance added to them like a lot of high-end products do. So if fragrances bother you, you would not mind these at all. There's no fragrance, no scent, no taste that I can detect. Next up is 301. This one is called Amber. It looks like a muted bricky tone. Looks like a muted brick tone lipstick color. Ooh. Those are the shades I love wearing in the fall. So here is Amber. I like that one. For those of you out there that change your hair color fairly often, do the colors of lipstick that you can wear change with your hair color? Because that color I used to always love, but with the kind of orangey brown hair, I don't feel like it looked quite as flattering. So let me know if you feel like the hair color affects what products you can wear on your face, or is it just me? Next up, we have number 401, which is more like an orangey red, and this one's called Red Fire. Okay, I take back what I said. It's like straight up orange. It's not even red. So 
So here's Red Fire. I don't think I'm loving this one so much. I like orangey toned reds, but this is like straight up orange and I'm just, I'm just not loving it. Just a personal preference. We have one left. And last but not least, we have number 402 and it is red to go. This one's still like an orangey red, but has more red to it than orange. Here's red to go. This is more my speed, an orangey tone red or a blue tone red. I really enjoy them. So here's red to go. So again, here are the swatches of the six colors that I tried from Giorgio Armani. The formula is very comfortable. It's definitely matte. If you don't like a matte lipstick, obviously you're not going to like these. They're all matte. Um, but I feel like you can toss a gloss on top of any matte lipstick and just kind of give it that shine that you're looking for. So the formula feels very comfortable. A little bit on the dry side. has like a velvety finish on the lips. The colors are nice and pigmented. As you can see, one swipe gives you opaque color. You don't have to layer it up. I like that they have a pointed tip for applying along the edges, so no lip liner is required. I think these are really nice. I'm going to continue wearing them. I'll update you guys if my opinion changes, but as of right now, I like four out of the six shades. I didn't love the pinky tone one or the straight up orange on my skin tone personally, but if you have a different skin tone or different preferences, you may love those shades. It's just they don't work so well for me. So I liked the first one, the third one, the fourth, and the last. The two that I didn't like are these two in the middle. The like more um, peachy pink one and the straight up orange were not for me. But the formula is nice. The packaging is adorable. I love this magnetic closure. Super fancy, super luxe. So I really, really appreciate nice packaging like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this swatch video of the Giorgio Armani Matte Lipsticks. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.